Hello, welcome once again to Web and X Files. My name is Keith, and today is the continuation of things from outer space, earth lights, energies, and different things that are similar to that. And today's subject is about ley lines. Now, the term ley line was invented by Alfred Watkins, who was a British <clears throat> businessman in 1921. He was looking for interesting features in a regional map when he noticed um, that many ancient and sacred sites could be placed on a straight line running through the countryside as researched the subject more Watkins discovered that these mysterious lines could be identified and not just by marker points boy but some but that some were physically visible from the ground the lines were anything from two to from two to several miles um, long, and the reference points were objects of uh, ancient churches, um, standing stones, stone circles, and prehistoric burial sites. Stonehenge being one of them. Now, in 1922, Watkins had published his first book. Um, early British trackways, which explained his initial thoughts on the subject. Now, he published his seminal work, The Old Straight Track, um, which fully demonstrated his newfound discovery, the phenomenon, and in 1952 that was. Now, Watkins used the term ley lines or lays, as it came from an old Saxon word for cleared guide, glade, even cleared glade. He believed they were trading routes for Neolithic man, who used ancient surveying techniques to create long straight lines. Now, uh, his theory followed the thinking that many areas on these routes became sacred sites. And over time, the pathways fell into disuse, now leaving only special points discernible. He also believed that many of the ancient or pagan holy sites were later commandeered by the Christianized way, leaving a fascinating mixture of both prehistorical and relatively recent points of interest along these lines. Now, despite the fact that these paths followed perfectly in a straight line, which often meant cutting through forests, climbing up valleys, or running across hilltops. Now, Watkins maintained his belief that they were trading routes, but by 1929, he just stopped referring to the old ley lines, and he simply called them old straight tracks. Now, Watkins died in 1935, but his idea had instigated the foundations from the Straight Track Club, which is a collection of interested enthusiasts based across the, um, the uh, based across Britain, um, who enjoyed investigating their old, their own sorry, regional versions of ley lines. Now, many people felt the difficult routes taken by the ley is running through steep or testing countryside. Pardon me, um, meant that they were unlikely to be trade routes for the traders. Now, other theories about their nature was put forward in um, 1936. A British writer called Dion Fortune first suggested the idea that the ancient sites could be linked by lines of mysterious cosmic forces. Um, and a member of the Straight Line Club. Arthur Lawton continued his, with his notion in 1938. Lawton was a dowser and had been fascinated by German and French dowsing theories. Now, of the subject a little is that I uh, also use dowsing as a form of um, investigation during paranormal things. Dowsing rods, which have been used for many, many years for finding water, missing objects and various things. Um, anyway, so he, um, he was fascinated by German and French dowsing theories that were connected with standing stones. So he formulated the idea that ley lines were lines of natural energy that could be proven by dowsing. 
Now during the Second World War, the Straight Line Club and its activities had dwindled, but in the 1950s new ideas about lays burst into the public's consciousness. Various UFO books from France and America um, linked flying saucer phenomenon with these lines of cosmic force. And in 1961, Tony Wedd, who was a British lay hunter and also an ex-pilot, published his theory that ley lines were magnetic flight paths for alien visitors and any sites of interest um, found along them acted as landmarks as pilots use today. Um, what they would use landmarks for today, like buildings and different points of interest. Um, now from Wedd's work, uh, the modern movement in ley line researchers truly began in 1969 um, when another enthusiast, John Mitchell, had uh, wrote The View Over Atlantis, a book that combined ley lines, earth energy, UFOs and ancient mathematics. Now the 1960s and 70s had saw um, all manner of new age theories um, and lays began to automatically be associated um, with um, lines of energy, chi for Chinese things and, 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 and different um, sources of these energy lines. Now flying sources and other strange psychic experiences have also been thought to be um, like, like, like powered by being close to these ley lines like it was like it was like a battery source and ever never ending source of cosmic energy now the phenomenon had spread right across the world and new age enthusiasts um, were eager to size the idea of cosmic forces and aliens and wholeheartedly the city of Seattle in the USA had um, I'd, I'd, I'd even readily gave a $5,000 grant um, for a group of thousands to create a ley line map of the local area. Now, to some extent, they missed the original point of ley lines, which um, was they were straight routes um, connecting sites of sacred interest. Now, in fact, the um, United States has its own version of walking style lays. Um, Native American spirit lines found across the country are believed to have, um, have been ancient sacred pathways. Now, similar features are found um, now in Mexico and it has been suggested that the NASCAR lines may be a variation of the same theme. So, real significance of ley lines is still unknown. Although the theories and background ideas have bred and multiplied, multiplied few people have, um, have discovered more ley line facts than Alfred Watkins. His vision is still the most fact-based and, despite its shortcomings, still the most plausible. It would be a shame to see the phenomenon of ley lines become synonymous with the extreme New Age ideas because it has a fascinating historical and geographic background that has not yet been fully explored. Um, yeah, ley lines have always been a fascination of mine and um, it just adds to the theory of the mysterious stuff that we do not understand on the earth um you know what what was here beforehand was there anything here before dinosaurs who's to say that a um ancient civilization lived on earth way before dinosaurs something wiped them out dinosaurs thing then dinosaurs died out and then man come back and who knows we just don't know theories can go on and on maybe one day we'll have the answers i doubt it'll be in our time excuse this um, it's my dog Kobe. It is. Yes, it's my best friend. <laughs> uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed today's story. If so, please leave um, comments, likes, suggestions, anything. 
greatly appreciated to all who watch it. Anyway, take care, and I will see you all in the next video. Stay tuned. Peace. <laughs>